How low can it go and how much camber? <laughs> A lot of guys drive here, and the reality is we are on a ranch. Driving through a ranch, there's dirt, dust, rocks, bugs all over the place. Right, getting here. It's a mess. So we partnered with Chemical Guys because we have a variety of different types of cars here, and they make products for everything you need to keep your car clean. Whether it's painted, wrap, matte, gloss, they got it. And today, we're talking about streak-free glass cleaner. It removes dirt, dust, grease, fingerprints with no leftover residue, and it doesn't streak. You can use it on factory glass, tinted glass, and aftermarket tints, because you don't want to end up like this guy with the purple tint from using and Windex. <laughs> Use it with the waffle weave towel for the best results. Go to Chemical Guys YouTube. There's over a thousand videos on there. Teaches you how to detail your car. They've got retail stores all over the country. They're called Detail Garage. And if there's not one local to you, you're in luck. You could still get their products at your local AutoZone, even Walmart, if those aren't around you because you live in the middle of nowhere. Amazon. Amazon. Click the link below. Go check out some of their content. Learn a thing or two about cleaning cars. Go clean your car. All right, so they say like when I compress your wrist like this, uh -huh. you can't move it like this. No so matter how strong you so are. So like ball your hands up, try to move your wrist. No. Yeah. no, side to side, side like, No, so, laterally, yeah. 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 Hold up, wait a minute. Something ain't right. Yeah. Like, oh, you got okay. a pretty strong yeah. wrist, man. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to this versus that. Wait, I was moving my hand because I thought I was going to do it, so oh, you go now. No, no, no you, you go, go. You go. You go. Rock, paper, scissors. Can I just go? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Wow. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh, Rock, paper, paper, scissors, shoot. shoot. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God, that was sick. That was a great battle. That was the that was best battle. battle. Did you guys plan that? Welcome back. Another episode of this first that. And today we have a V formation today. Oh, it's a V gross. formation. You could have did the V. Saying? What? I'm just You're saying. The v up I'm Even just the saying. Shirt has a V. Anything else has a V. Oh, I see. You're too cranked up right now. Today's episode, we got two way different cars. That's the point of the show. Let's go check them out. Good morning, how you doing? Who are you, what'd you bring here? So Sean Maynard from Volkswagen of America brought the all new 2022 Golf R. So you're actually from Volkswagen. I am. So this Yo. is a brand new car? This brand new, it's not, it's not, not even, even the for sale, yet. I heard, right? Correct. It's a Euro yeah. spec? It's a Euro spec one, Dude. yeah. What is your position at Volkswagen? Because I think you have the coolest <laughs> job title ever. I think Vin so, wants a free car. The easiest way to, to say it is chief enthusiast officer. I'd love to give you that. A new car! It's really the motorsports and enthusiast kind of marketing mm. elite. That's when we call like Hurt like president of food and beverage. Was tasty? You satisfied? Yeah. <laughs> like, that that sounds like a big job. Hit us with the specs of this thing. 315 horsepower, 310 pound feet of torque. Still the two liter four cylinder engine. 2.0 turbo. Exactly. Same iron blocks. Yep. The fourth generation of this motor. Yep, That's exactly. Awesome. Yep. I, as a Honda guy, I'm really mad that you guys dropped 315 because you you bested my <laughs> beloved FK Type R with the 306 there. So I'm a little I'm a little hurt. We gotta, you know, put a little bit of extra in there. I mean, it's what people have been looking for for a while, you know, just try to get over 300, but this one's made it with the, the seven speed DSG as well. So, you know. And all wheel drive, right? All wheel drive, yeah, exactly. To be able to do kind of a 50-50 split with the torque. Now you can put the torque completely to the rear and actually independent of the wheels. Is, so, that, is that the drift mode that everybody's mode. everybody's raving about? Yeah, exactly. So, so you can put 100% of the power to the outside wheel when you're doing the cornering. Oh, hell yeah. That, so. You gonna do that today? Uh, maybe, maybe. We got a, you know, another press loan coming out, so we can't mm. shred the tires just yet, but maybe we can do that soon. Mm. We'll get you there. World full of scumbags. I want to take a look at the interior. This thing looks pretty sick in there. Is there anything going to change with the US spec vehicle? 422, we're going to have basically the top trim. So there's, it's really going to be offered in manual or automatic, and then it's got three colors.
dollars for 22. So these seats won't be offered just yet. These ones are still manual crank and, and kind of mm. adjustment. That's, That's sort of cool. Thing, I really so. like the dash, like the all digital layout. Oh yeah, it's pretty pretty awesome. Similar to, I mean, you see that on the ID4 Talos. It's kind of where we're going with our kind of infotainment. That sort of thing. The electrification of Volkswagen, correct? Exactly. That's the whole ID yeah. chassis is all of that. Right? Correct. Yeah, MEB. What cool. does this thing weigh? It's about 3,400 pounds. 3,400 pounds. Yep. Is there anything to look at under the hood, or is it pretty plasticky? It's pretty plasticky. You know, new cars, all the stuff is covered up. Mm -hmm. Actually, you can see the turbo. I'm gonna ask the real question for the real Volkswagen enthusiast. How low can it go and how much camber can you put? <laughs> as low as you want. Are you gonna, you know, do coilovers? Are you gonna bag it? We don't recommend it, but we know people are gonna be going all the low with it, so. Yeah, I'm just being a dipshit. Have you, uh, have you guys put this on a quarter mile yet? This is the first time that I think we've done it in the United States. Spec is around, I think it's like 4.7. It's yeah. a 12.9, I think, that the Euro spec is doing right now. Man, 12.9. I remember my Mark IV with a big turbo <laughs> Ram 13. This so. is four generations better than your Mark IV. It's got 70 more horsepower. I mean, essentially, which is absolutely nuts, so. All right, well, let's see what you're going up against. Who are you, and what did you bring? I'm Sean Yazidjian from Bells and & Vaughn, and this is my 1962 Volvo Amazon. Yeah, I don't this... think I've ever seen one of these in the wild before. Yeah. I know, yeah. isn't this crazy? Also, you guys do like the craziest paint and body work. You did Larry's car, you did his mm -hmm. truck, but this isn't done though, why, why not? From what I could tell, it was painted in 1987. They had done the louvers on the hood, and honestly, I like the color so much, I couldn't see it in any other color. It's a cool color. Yeah. I like the I like the louvered hood. I didn't know that wasn't stock. That's so it. Looks good. This is awesome. Yeah, I don't have to worry about going and parking at the supermarket and, and coming back with dings, so. Speaking honestly, of the hood, can we pop like it? it? Cause I know that there's not a whatever the hell came in this. Straight to What did come in it. this car? For this year, I think it's a 1.6 liter, all cast iron four cylinder. Yeah. This is definitely not a, that. Dang. Damn, son, where'd you find this? That's a 5.7. I heard you had this motor like intended for another vehicle before it was in another vehicle. Huh? Yeah, it used to be in my Camaro, which was set up for drag. Went 10-4 10, 10 on that car that was geared and set up for drag racing. What trans is in it? For it? A T10, so it's a four speed. What's the specs on the engine? Probably around 420, 430. Stock. Uh, LS with heads and cam, or what? Sort of. I mean, basically, it's a it's a cam with heads, forged like bottom end. How much does this no, it's forged. I mean, it, it could take you know a big shot of nitrous if yeah. I want to. That's what I used to run. But mm -hmm. honestly, now it's just you know kind of street cruiser. What do you have to do to fit this thing in here? I can't imagine it just slid right in. No, it didn't. I had to push the firewall back about four and a half, okay. five inches. Okay. The fender well had to come out yeah. a little bit as well. I was gonna say, it's ridiculous how these motors just fit in everything. But, yeah. <laughs> this is the first time I've ever seen someone run these wheels on a car that they didn't come on. <laughs> these are the OEM Tesla <laughs> wheels underneath those gross hubcaps, right? Yeah, that's right. Why would they put hubcaps over these? I don't know, right? These are like cool wheels. Everybody wants aero, right? You what are the specs on the wheels? 18 by eight and a half. How much does the car weigh? About 2,500 pounds. You cut down the bumpers too? When I got the car, I had like a bunch of outdated stuff on it and missing a lot of parts. Parts. I had my old Corvair bumpers just sitting around. I kind of looked at it and said, man, it looks cool. So I chopped them up. I kind of like the car looking a little beat up and ratty. So yeah. it just yeah, goes it with nice. the theme And of what's it. the uh, the under trim on it? From a DA Integra. Nice. Yeah, you can See spoiler that? on yep. it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Love and that. then you did the same thing in the rear, too. You did a little... Corvair bumper in the rear, and then let's, it has... Let's show, uh, show everyone this. Sure. I want to see this here. People seem to love or hate it. You know, I get a lot of crap for it online. I don't know how you can whatever. hate this. There's yeah. nothing about this that you can hate. I like the seats, too. You got late model Camaro seats in here. That's pretty sick. I'm surprised yeah. they fit. Yeah, they do now. Big old chunky <laughs> boys in there. Uh, what size rear tire you have on this thing, or what rear tire is you running? I just put 235, uh, 235-4018s on it. Kumho, the new 730s, the autocross tire. So you sweat in this all-wheel drive, brand new Volkswagen without a clutch? No. Oh, snap. <laughs> <laughs> well, generally, our first race is heads up from a dig, thousand foot, and then from there, you guys figure it out. Let's do cool. it. Sounds good. Awesome. Yeah. Let's go race. I can't hate on the new car, but I am mad because it makes more power than my beloved Type R. And plus, Sean's my boy, so I gotta go Amazon all the way. My heart says Amazon, but my brain says the new car that does everything pretty consistently. I'm gonna go with the Volkswagen. I really like the Volvo, it's really cool. But technology has proven time and time again that it's pretty undefeated. I'm gonna pick the Volvo anyway. I don't know anything about the Volkswagen, and I just think that car's sick, so I'm going with that one. Gotta warm up all his tires. All day, baby. Before we go. I don't even know what engines are in the cars or what these cars even are. Probably the Volvo. I like Volvos. They're cool.
until Micah puts a Japanese four cylinder into his car. You can stop me and do the V8 boy. I'm not a V8 boy. It's halfway down the track. Yeah, <laughs> 500 feet. That's a long oh, gear, boy. So we think if you get a better reaction, it'll be like, you guys will be right Jump there. Jump them hands, Jump boy. Them. Jump them hands. How are you feeling? I feel pretty good. It's my first time drag racing in this car, so I feel really good about it. Car feel good? It feels really strong, yeah. Yeah, it looks pretty quick, man. It's yeah. sweet. And neck and neck, right? Yeah, yeah. It's got to be heads up one more time. Hey, Half with a shift like that, we're going to have to check your wrist strength. <laughs> <laughs> Round two. Hi, boys. Someone sim know. simulate those shifts. Here, hold my wrist. <laughs> <laughs> He's just going. <laughs> He's ripping those bad boys. I think that if he jumped those hands by like that half a second that he needs, give him a hit. Let's give him a hit. What? Yeah. Yeah. Bumper. Damn. You lost. I'm sorry. <laughs> you officially won the matchup. But it's so close that we want to see him beat you. Or try again. So we're gonna do a bonus race. Heads up. You want, now you want to give him the hit? You go on his lead. I think we staggered Dan's arms. Boom, boom. No. That's Dude. The hit. That's, that's, that's just the, the hit. hit. That's basically the hit. Yeah, but the delay. Give him the hit. All right. Yeah, you guys are fucking <laughs> dorks. Are you manually shifting it? I'm manually shifting So you did, at both races you did? Yeah, did. Maybe you want to trust the car, you know? Trust the car stuff. Burn him down on the tree. Come on. Burn the naturally aspirated <laughs> LS car down on the tree. Whatever. Cool. Yeah. We got a drag racer over here. <laughs> yeah. What are you, Mr. Work? LS boys yeah. here? Oh, yeah. yeah. Bonus round. So much cooler now that I've seen it run. I just crushed so good. my can, man. <laughs> man. That was a good yeah. matchup. I thought so, yeah. And honestly, yeah. let's just be impressed. You buy a stock hot hatch, and it's as fast as an LS swapped crazy hot rod. I mean, I mean, yeah. over 100 more horsepower and six or 800 pounds lighter. It's insane. So yeah, yeah. Cars that's are so yeah, fast. yeah. I don't know about it. <laughs> <laughs> good job to both of you guys, man. That was a really, really fun race. We love when we set up something odd and it works out like that. Ridiculous, massive Alcon brakes. Probably not good for today. That's like the most yeah. of this versus that ever. Um, oh! 